apa uh, let's discuss without further ado let's discuss for our meet today so first meet uh, i want to discuss about pka pka ni is actually your program kecemerlangan akademik so fizik i believe you have done lepak kan okay tapi for your pka ni is divided into three groups okay yang groups ni actually uh, miss divide through your ups result ah uh, ups result lepas tu um, ada juga sebab for chemistry legend ni chemistry legend ni adalah mentor menti so mentor menti ni um, your mentor mesti sama jantina lah so ada jugalah bukanlah ikut result ups sangat ah uh, macam tu lah so it's a bit difficult sebenarnya lagi senang kalau dapat um, apa ni divide based on your PSPM result tapi miss pun uh, tak ada data to, to be specific so yang ini uh, is divided based upon your UPS result okay so first PKA is actually Cam Legend Cam Legend ni mentor menti so this is actually where you have to discuss lah uh, it's between you and your mentor okay which is your mentor menti ni classmate jugalah no problem so next is uh, a star is born a star is born punya program ni is actually for those um, apa ni untuk a star is born there are examples uh, that are given to you uh, ideally you should attempt it first lah later on akan ada youtube link uh, ada youtube live lah untuk kamu tengok and discuss the question uh, star is born ni uh, memang sebab kita ni ada lecture kimia lah ha? bukannya lecture tutorial yang ini depends lah on that week uh, you will have different lecture Okay, and last but not least is Road to Champion. Road to Champion ni is actually siapa yang Road to Champion is personal between you and me. So, the examples tu nanti akan ada, you have to discuss with me lah. Later, Miss akan detailkan lagi. Okay, for your program kecemerlangan akademik. Okay, yang Miss nak fokuskan for today, uh, uh, apa lagi Miss nak uh, inform about your lab test and assignment. So, again, lab test and assignment is actually uh total of the uh total of it is actually 40% of your pb okay so for your lab test uh you, it will be tested uh based on writing test as well as the manipulative skill test which uh should be started on the 25th of february on friday at 7 pm 7 pm until lah uh on monday 11:59 pm Okay, so for this experiment, again, even though sama juga macam same satu kan, titration tu you haven't done it pun. Uh, tapi yang ini, uh, during the uh, lab test itself, the videos are given to you, so you have to answer the Google form untuk yang skill test ni. And then for the right lab report writing test ni, it depends on the video itself. Nanti video tu mention lah what should be included in your lab report. Okay, so that's for your lab test. For your assignment, okay, your assignment to I believe I have given to you. So, the due date is 14 of March 2022. Okay, so bila kita tengok balik kalender akademik, kita ada kalender akademik kan dekat sini. Right now, we are on week 8. Ah, uh, Week 8 ni. 21 until 25. So, this week, chapter 5. Ah, uh, Sepatutnya, okay, uh, lab test kita start dekat sini lah. Sepertinya kita punya lab test is here. Yang ini adalah uh, takwim ni is actually only a suggestion lah. It uh, boleh berubah juga. So this is your lab test. Only this one week. Okay and then uh, last week memang kita dah ada dah your assignment question. Uh, yang due date tu sebab nampak macam March tu bila ni is actually. 14 of March tu is actually um, once uh, kamu dah habis dah mid semester break. Your mid semester break tak tahulah boleh balik ke tidak kan. Hopefully boleh. 7 nanti 11 March tu. 7 ni your Monday lah. This is your Monday. 11 ni is actually on Friday. Okay. Your um, apa ni, submission tu on 14 of March. On the Monday itself lah. Buka-buka cuti tu terus. So even though it seems macam lama lagi. Tapi sebenarnya from here kamu dah boleh hantar lah. Di draft to me. Draft tu again. There's no need for you to submit the full poster. Hanya soalan sahaja pun dah cukup dah. Okay. Sebab setiap each one of you akan uh, will get a different compound kan. Okay. So that is actually for your uh, lab test and assignment. Okay. Back to here. Okay.
Okay, next what should we, uh, what we're going to discuss is actually your lab report experiment too. Okay, yang ni, uh, kenapa Miss nak discuss is actually one uh, about your discussion lah. A discussion because we have our uh, possible error and precaution and the calculation as well. So, a calculation tu I just denote is a, S, A, B, C, D, E, F kan? Do you get the calculation or not? Tapi I haven't got the chance to mark your lab report yet. Uh, kalau kamu tak kisah, contohnya your possible error and precaution is a bit different from what I have written down. Nah, bolehlah type ataupun just uh, bagi tahu je lah what is your answer. So we can discuss it together lah. Okay, so for your lab report experiment tu, so we're going to do this now lah. Okay, so for the, your lab report, uh, Okay, so again, um, this is actually the lab report itself. So for the procedure, it must be a passive sentences and you must write it down in terms of past tense. So sebab itulah banyaknya uh, I have written down it in terms of past tense itself lah. So but usually uh, for the marking of your lab test, uh, for procedure ni, it's just that uh, Miss Nga tengok kalau dalam procedure tu ada 7 steps, so, you have to write down the cut part in, you pun mesti 7 steps. And all of it must be changed to passive sentences. Ah, Semua kena change to passive sentences. So, make sure lah kamu ubah sikit-sikit pun okay dah. Okay? So, that is actually for the procedure itself. This one I have written down for all lah. Okay. So, that is actually for the procedure. Okay. So, for the result. Okay, so first is determination of the heat capacity of calorie meter. Okay, so from here you will get your CC to be 19 joule per degree Celsius. Okay, calculation ni, okay, for the heat, uh, for the heat capacity it must be a positive value lah. And the unit will be joule per degree Celsius. Walaupun the value macam kamu nampak uh, 19,000, you be easier to change to kilojoule. Tapi just to be safe. Take first the heat capacity to be joule per degree Celsius. So that is actually for part A. Part A ni calculation dia straightforward sikit. Uh, the one yang pening sikit ni sebenarnya part B. The determination of the heat of neutralization of HCl and NaO. So again, uh, here um, the heat of neutralization is your enthalpy of neutralization. Okay, if you still remember, when you uh, when we learn yang 2.2 calorimetry, uh, heat of neutralization ni only two examples that we have been, uh, that we have discussed. Emang step dia panjang sikit. Okay, um, yang ini kenapa dia panjang? It's actually when you determine so delta H is equal to Q divided by N. Yang NH2O ni yang panjang sikit step dia. Tapi semua ni mesti dah bincang. Okay, so um, based on this uh, experiment itself, your Q is, uh, the Q for this reaction is actually 1,482 Joule. So, you, you find your Q. And once you have found your Q, kenalah cari kita punya number of mole of H2O. So, the number of mole H2O is this one lah. Actually, I do not know yang your lab test tu, is it um, same 1 mole, 1 mole ke tidak? Yang ini straightforward sikit because you don't have to compare the limiting reactant. Hopefully macam ni lah juga. Um, and lastly, the heat of neutralization, you will get the value to be negative uh, 59,280 joule per mole. Okay, so when you calculate this value, this is a bigger value, divide by a small value kan? So supposedly you will get a positive value. This negative one, it's actually, uh, you must include it yourself. Uh, yang memang kita kena tambah sendiri. Even though when you calculate in the calculator, tak akan dapat negative value tu. But then you should include it lah. Okay, to, know, uh, to show that, for the enthalpy of neutralization, heat is released. So when heat is released, so you have to show negative. So the value will be joule per mole. Kalau nak kilojoule per mole, you have to divide it by 1000. So, that is actually the calculation. I hope you get the value straight away sahaja. Okay, this part, discussion, possible error. Okay, and the precaution. Okay, so from here, precaution ni, actually I've 
taken it from kita bila kita tengok from the procedure lah step one by one cuma dekat sini I have uh, added one more from the video that I have written now miss add lagi satu lagi this one yeah, the solution should be stirred continuously during the experiment here is actually for your part B part B ni when you add in your acid and base you, uh, you uh, direction we go neutralization right so supposedly you have to stir the solution together lah so sebab tu lah adanya precaution the solution should be stirred continuously during the experiment okay so that's the precaution yeah, yang possible error ni I've asked you to write it yourself okay so for me what I, um, sebenarnya kalau possible error dengan precaution ni bila kita kata precaution we have to do um, some of this stuff so possible error dia adalah bila kita tak buat lah benda tu okay so contohnya our precaution kan Put the measuring cylinder on a flat surface when taking the measurement. So, possible error dia adalah uh, um, bila we don't put it on a flat surface lah. So, this is the possible error. The measuring cylinder was not on a flat surface when taking the measurement. Okay, for this experiment, kalau ada parallax error, uh, kalau parallax error tu selalunya tak diterima. Parallax error tu, if you write down parallax error, tak diterima. Tak nak. Sebab rasa tu macam chip sikit je lah. Macam tu lah. Tak nak. So, sebab tu kita buat yang ni lah. The measuring cylinder was uh, not put on a flat surface when taking the measurement. Sebab contohnya kalau kamu letak, kamu kira kan. Uh, for example lah. Walaupun this is not your measuring cylinder. It's different kalau kamu baca dia macam ni. Uh, boleh, walaupun memang ada possibility of parallax error tu kan. So, sebab tu lah you have to put on flat surface. So, kita kena baca lah. From there. And then our eye level must be the same level, uh, our eye level tu must be at the same level as our, as the measurement itself. Okay. So, the next possibility adalah, okay, when uh, transferring the solution, so selalunya dalam clarimeter tu, it's actually on a small cup. Uh, lepas tu sebenarnya ada delete dia tu. Sebenarnya yang ini, yang video yang KMPK tu, tu adalah... Calorie meter lama. Calorie meter for KML dia lain sikit. Sebenarnya dia ada macam satu, you have to pour it based on the lid tu lah. Kamu kena buka ada satu spot tu. So what happen is that, contohnya kalau kamu guna your beaker ataupun measuring cylinder, what will happen is the possibility of spillage lah. Ha, boleh boleh spill the solution tu. Sebab tu lah, yang ini, uh, precaution dia use a filter funnel. So possible error is that the solution was spilled. Okay, uh, precaution kita ada yang kata HCH solution should be put into now solution immediately. So, the uh, possible error dia, bila the solution was not put immediately lah. Jadi memang yang terbalik yang macam tu. Here mentioned that the lid should be closed immediately. So, our possible error, the lid was not closed immediately. <laughs> dia macam tu sahaja. Sebenarnya possible error tu, dia simple lah. Dia macam main twist the words sahaja. Uh, next is that uh, the same calorimeter is used for both experiment. So our possible error, uh, different calorimeter were used for the experiment. So sebab tu lah for your experiment itself, the part A dengan part B ni dua-dua kena buat. Because from part B, kalau kamu tak ambil, uh, if you only do the calculation ataupun the experiment for part B itself, macam mana kamu nak tahu the heat capacity of the calorimeter? Uh, so that's why lah, this experiment must be done together, A and B. Can lastly, when we added that the solution should be stirred continuously, so possible error dia, uh, the solution was not stirred continuously. Okay, so that is actually the possible error lah, dengan precaution. Uh, kalau ada siapa nak tambah pun boleh, ataupun um, nanti Miss akan check lah, Miss akan try. So, yang discussion dengan possible error ni, usually possible error to marks, uh, precaution to marks. But then again, uh, for your lab test, janganlah tulis dua. Write down lah three or more. It's just that to be safe. Kalau lah tidak diterima your answer, at least there are another possibility. Uh, we want, uh, if possible, we want the marks to be 15 over 15 lah. Nak lah kita dapat full mark kan for our lab report. Okay. So that is actually for the discussion.
last but not least is actually the conclusion. Okay, so the conclusion, we have we have to answer back the question itself, the learning outcome, uh, which is our objective. Uh, the objective is to determine the heat capacity. So we have to include the value. And then the heat of neutralization pun can include the value itself. Okay, usually, kalau contohnya kan, if your answer is incorrect, contohnya sepatutnya dekat sini 19. Contohlah kamu calculate-calculate, you get 27. Okay, even though you've written down here 27, jawapan dia salah kan? But then, um, kat sini, you will get one mark. Sebab itu kira error carry forward. Ha, so, even though the value salah, Tapi bila kamu tulis juga dekat sini, uh, so you get one mark lah. So itulah that is very important for you to answer the conclusion. Uh, I don't want uh, objective is achieved sahaja. Um, tak nak lah. Okay, if you want to write it down, you can. Tapi maknanya the last step lah. But you have to be very specific. Apa objective sebenarnya? Uh, what is actually the objective of the experiment? Okay. So that's the um, value. Yang ni pun sebenarnya boleh juga you take the value to be yang negative uh, 59,280 joule per mole pun accepted. Either way. Because our objective does not uh, mention specifically it must be in kilo joule per mole. Okay. So this is actually the solution for our um, lab report. Okay. So again, for your lab test tu, tengoklah based on the video itself. Ha, janganlah kamu buat uh, buat apa ni, the procedure tu. Okay. The procedure here uh, is actually based upon this experiment. Kalau dalam kamu punya video tu, dia punya, um, the method itself is quite different. So you have to follow the method based upon the video itself. Sebab maybe you get from different SEM base, this time around here CL and now. Maybe you will get another SCN base. So, it must depends on the uh, video itself. Okay. So, that is actually for your lab. Uh, for your lab report. Uh, sekali tu, Miss Bebel banyak pasal lab test. Okay. If you have any question, boleh raise your hand. Kalau dalam seminit ada siapa raise hand. So, I uh, will proceed with the chapter 5 exercise. Miss yang decimal point untuk Jol decimal point degree Celsius tu, yeah, uh -huh. dua decimal point. Ah, uh, satu yang pun sembilan belas. Point kosong kosong ni eh. Okay, ini tak ada mas, tak ada masalah pun is fine. Ah, uh -huh. boleh je. Lah, oh. tapi kita dah best tu kan. Ah, sebenarnya sembilan pun boleh juga. <laughs>